Hi guys and welcome to yet another video exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be creating a tree so let's get started I'm gonna go to file new and create a new file document I'm just gonna use the 1280 by 720 but you can use whatever size you want and like so let's create that and let's create a triangle limit and I'm just gonna click once with my left mouse button and then I'm gonna type in the aspect ratio that I created the file for the width is 1280 and the height would be uh, 720 and click OK and select the selection tool and put it just where it is fits we are going to color this after all and for now we do not need it so I'm going to lock it by hitting control plus 2 on the keyboard that is control plus 2 to lock anything so now that layer is locked or something so now let's come to our polygon tool I'm gonna click on it again once and for the size the radius 50 is okay for the size make it 3 and then click ok like that we're going to color it later let's make first of all different copies of it select your selection tool again and hold down the alt button and drag actually first of all do not make another copy this will uh, go to direct selection tool and then click on the upper point and drag it a little bit up whatever size you like we're gonna rig it a little bit up so that it is not a perfect triangle but a little bit higher on this end and now go back to our selection tool hold down the alt button on the keyboard and then click on the triangle and drag out another one out of it like so okay and now go to transform here if it is not show and go to windows and here there would be a panel which would be called transform select that from there so now click on it and what you are going to do is first of all check that the height and the width are uh, these two videos they are linked with each other if they are not constrained or linked with each other they are not linked like this then okay that was a little bit of restriction with that notification click on it and they will be linked because you want them both to be linked and now what you are going to do is do a little bit of rudimentary math uh, you are going to multiply it by 1.5 to multiply anything in here use the asterisk sign or the little star you know it's in your keyboard you can find it I hope and then click enter and you can see it says it's increased like this okay so in the height and the width but you don't want it like this if you want it be somewhere okay fix here and now let's bring it down with the down arrow key but holding down shift hit the down arrow key three times one two three okay that's a perfect and now hold down the alt key again on the keyboard and drag another one of these triangles out of it like this and go to transform again it is the routine again and use the strict sign multiply by 1.5 again and hit enter increase this like this put it just where it matches the lines of the upper triangle and bring it down three down arrows okay but holding down the shift key if you hit the down arrow just like that it's just gonna bring it uh, really one point but holding down the shift it brings these 10 points okay I hope you understand that hold down the alt key once more and this is the last time and I show you that and bring it down once more like this and now go to transform again and you know the routine a strict 1.5 to multiply and then hit enter like this and now bring it down 3 points or 30 points actually now our tree is uh, the basis right now select all of the layers go to object or you can hit ctrl g on the keyboard it group and it's going to group all these things and now come here to uh, uh, rectangular tool and I'm just gonna make a small trunk for it in the base like this this rectangular tool like that okay it's done 
okay now i want to align it perfectly to the middle if your guides are okay it's going to do it like this if they are not well what you can to do is select it then hold down the shift key and select the tree and then go to align like this and click on the mirror if you want to you know make a weird tree and align the trunk to the side you can do that so you can use this I just use my intuition and the smart guide that were on to align it so now this thing is added to it now since all these things are not the same thing they are grouped together but they are still individual steps where we don't want that we want them to be made one thing to do that or combine these all shapes go to windows come down to pathfinder and then click on this option which says unite and then what it's going to do you want to combine all those sort of shapes and as you can see now our tree is taking some sort of shape from now on okay i'm going to close the pathfinder now comes the coloring point we are going to color these two things okay but before coloring them i want to put them in the middle somewhere okay like this okay now select the upper part or the green part and come to color band actually and then go to nature okay i'm gonna select a swatch in here okay, landscape i think that will be landscape okay, like sort of color that i want to give it i know okay Okay, let's select the green then we are going to adjust it later on okay and for the trunk let's select this brown but i think this is a little bit off i don't like it that way you can of course give it any color you want i want it to make it a little bit brownish like so and i think that's okay we are going to change this quite a lot so it's up to us whenever you want to change it we can change it so don't worry and many uh, a lot about these things you know these are all adjustable and i'm gonna bring the green a little bit to the lighter side to the dark from the dark side okay now once that's done i'm going to divide this uh, trunk of the area and the trunk so that we are going to make one side of it in shadow and one side of it in the light so okay now our tree is complete now we are going to divide it in the middle and we will make one side to look up here to be in the shadow so to do that Let's go and select our pen tool and then come down into the middle. My smart guards are helping me out here. If yours are not, then go and select them first. I'm gonna bring this to the front, bring forward, and uh, it's helps in the selection a little. Okay, now click with the pen tool once while the icon is showing the plus sign, it's gonna make an anchor point here. This is a critical point because if you do the next step without it, you are going to get it and it's going to mess up your tree drawing for the tree shape. Select all the points in this area like with the direct selection tool which is here, keyboard shortcut is A. Now hit the delete key on the keyboard and it's going to delete it. And with the selection tool, select your tree, go to object, come to transform and reflect. And we are going to make a reflection of it on the vertical axis. Actually, you can click on the preview to see what your result will look like. Do not click on the OK button because we do not want it to reflect. Then to make a copy of its reflection, click on the copy like this. And now we have two parts of it. And now with my smart card, I'm going to put it back where the place it appears to be one tree. So you are going to say what's the point? Well the point is now we have two separate parts and we can change its color from light green to more darker green like this. And now it appears like that this side is in shadow. We are do the same for the trunk, but the trunk is really simple. Just uh, click on it and hold the left, left mouse button and also hold the uh, shift uh, alt key actually and drag out it a little 
is going to make a duplicate copy of the trunk and I'll put it back where the trunk was originally and I'll come to this center point and now we reduce the search to about one third and come down to the fill color of the trunk and make it also a lot dark brown like this so it appears like that the bark yeah, uh, trunk is also in uh, shadow so once that's done I'll select our we are going to select our background and actually we've done something wrong and now I cannot find my background it seems like we have deleted our background somehow during the course of the tutorial not to worry if you want to make another background just put in the video 1280 y 720 so like this click ok and now with the selection tool put it in place like this and right click on it go to arrange send to back it's going to send it back and we're going to change its color to this yellow color you can of course give it any color that you like i like the yellow color now our shadows are made on the tree and i will group the shadows area too now we are going to make a shadow coming from the tree to the ground like this to do that we are going to make two copies of it uh, select the shadow area and then hit ctrl c on your keyboard and then hit ctrl v once and then hit it again like this and we can make two copies of it and then bring both of the copies back to the original place like so like this actually put it back to the original place and edge it up a little bit but with the help of the small guys i just put it then there okay now select one of the copies and while holding the shift key bring it down to the bottom of this area like this and go and click double click on its fill color and when select somewhere in the dark and click ok it's going to make it look like dark and then come to transparency and bring its opacity to zero like so now select the other copy and while holding the shift k select on this copy also now come down to object come to blend option and before making a blend go to blend option and make these adjustment we bring it to spacing to be specified distance and make it one point and align to page and then click ok my are already the same so once you do that then go to object again blend option then click on make and it's going to make this beautiful shadow from one part to the other the only problem is that this shadow appears to be here on top of it you might not see it but it appears to be like this and it slowly fades away like this if you want to make the shadow a bit more hard or a little bit longer it's up to you you can change it in the blend options and also you can change the colors and stuff like that I'm just gonna select the shadow and right click on it arrange and then send backward and now the shadow is in the background and the tree is in the front and that's our tree a beautiful vector tree or in the plate design has been completed i hope you like this tutorial and i take my leave from you guys until the next tutorial until that time goodbye